Welcome to the Peach Tree Morning Show by DCI. It's a wise way to start the day. Hope you enjoy. Hi, uh, this is Geshe Michael. And before we start today's uh, Peach Tree Cafe, I have some kind of serious news uh, to tell everybody. Uh, I got a communication from uh, this uh, Berkshire Hathaway company. Uh, which is uh, the company owned by Warren Buffett. And they've announced uh, that they are going to purchase the Peachtree Cafe. Uh, so we will have to find another place to do these meetings. We won't be able to use Peachtree Cafe uh, copyright anymore. Their intention is to build a giant company uh, to compete with McDonald's and to compete with Kentucky Fried Chicken. Wow. And uh, it will actually be called the Peach Tree Green, uh, and they will only serve green drinks, uh, healthy green drinks. And uh, so I, I'm sorry, you guys, you're going to be laid off. Uh, oh, no. to this. And Scott and Reed, I'm sorry, we're going to have to lay you off. Oh, really? Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> Good, I'm losing my head to see this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. okay Nora, your turn. Okay, so welcome to our show, our morning show. We welcome Gesha Michael, uh, the owner still for the Beach Tree Cafe. I'm not going to disappear. And I welcome Seiji Ara Takahashi to be with me today in this uh, uh, 1st of April, like as you know by now. And today we have very exciting questions. Uh, from Yasmin, uh, from Germany, and here we hear it together. Okay. Oh. She's shy. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know what's going on. Just a second. Okay. Oh, so I have to explain in America, mm -hmm. April 1st is called the Joker's Day, and uh, you're supposed to tell terrible things to your friends that aren't true. Mm -hmm. and, uh, try to get them upset. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, this is <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. All right, here All right. we go. This is Jensen from Germany. I was wondering, is getting paid for something contracting the seed planting? Um, or is the intention behind it more important? Um, I work in a retiring home on an hourly basis and host tea ceremonies and creative hours for the elderly people and yeah still want to plant the seeds for connection is that contracting or not thank you so much mm, thank you yasna for this question i really like it because we have been asked a lot about this question so what the, what do you guys think about the, what she asked is planting seeds by working at the nursing home contracting the seed planting of having company with someone elderly, so he plans his for partner partner. You mean uh, getting paid for that? Yes, she is working there. Uh, uh, and I think she means contradicting. Okay. Doesn't contradict. uh -huh. okay. Uh, yeah. So I, I think she's asking uh, if I take money to help the older lady mm -hmm. and uh, does it cancel, does it contradict uh, the seed for me, for example, to f be happy with my partner? So what do you guys think? Well, I think, no, I think actually the opposite, because, uh, so this is one of the things that we have seen both in DCI or in the college, mm -hmm. you know, is that when you manage to make a living out of helping other people or out of doing what you're passionate about, you can do it full time. So I would say it does not all, only not contradict, it's the best thing you can do. Because if you manage to be able to make a living out of, uh, whatever project that is you're passionate about, and you're able to, to uh, get paid for that, then you're planting seeds all day long, as opposed to just mm -hmm. you know, spending a few hours after you finish work, you're tired, mm -hmm. you go to a nursing home. So if you work there, then it's at least eight hours a day. So I think it's the opposite. <laughs> I don't know. I, think, Nora. <laughs> I would think working there uh, will, like exactly that what I did because I used to help uh, lonely people, sick people, and people who are need really safety, like migrants, refugees. It was a full day for steps plan, 
But in my mind, I was thinking, okay, but I'm doing my job. So what is the point about it? What I learned is working eight hours a day made me feel more sensitive to what they need more. So if we take it to the nursing home, if, uh, her, if the work she does is for eight hours, being there, she would feel like she can add something extra to them, uh, make mm -hmm. some, them feel more uh, or better about something. So she can make this one hour four steps, classical four steps, is to add extra value to the time she spent with. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it's a great way to do it if, you, if you're all day long is four steps planting. But... Um, I don't know if you guess or Michael have another uh, idea about this. Well, first of all, I like your idea. And uh, I forgot to mention yesterday or for the other day mm -hmm. that you are a PhD also uh, mm -hmm. in education and educational theory, both in Syria and in Romania. And mm -hmm. congratulations for that. Um, just my uh, personal thing, because we go around the whole, by the way, it's noisy in my cafe. This is my home cafe. Mm -hmm. And uh, my boss is uh, Veronica is making me a pie today. So she asked her, "Should I stop making the pie during the program?" I said, "No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. The noise is." <laughs> and I should not stop eating also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, what I noticed around the world, and you guys, you know, you also travel with me around the world, and, and we teach. I think we teach thirty-five thousand people every year. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been to many countries with me, and there seems to be an international virus called uh, people are too shy uh, mm -hmm. to recognize, to rejoice in all the good things they are doing themselves. Mm -hmm. Some kind of problem that people have around the world, they feel like it's being pride, it's being proud, prideful. If I uh, talk about or I think about uh, all the good things I'm doing, all the help I'm giving. And I think what's happening with Yasmin in the nursing home, it's the same kind of phenomenon where actually I think the most important suggestion I will give her is to totally enjoy, like Seiji said, enjoy that you are getting paid mm -hmm. so you have the opportunity to do it all day long in the nursing home and whether it contradicts the good seed or not whether taking money is going to make the good seed less or not it's a hundred percent your motivation you know if you have seiji's suggestion if you say oh i'm making money i'm so happy because that means i can stay here all day uh, then make then taking money as the noor said it not only it doesn't contradict uh, but it enhances the good seed. The good seed gets more powerful. That's my, that's my, I, I agree with both of you guys. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, could you do the same situation and do contrary? Like, how do you think? Oh, yeah. Like, well, I, I was thinking now, so the same way you could be working at the nursing home and doing it uh, completely for the wrong motivations. Yeah. So you would like for example. Yeah. For example, to say, I need I, this money. I right. just don't. I need this money. I didn't find another job. I found a job only with this nursing home, so I will go there for the money because I didn't find something else. Maybe. So this uh, this ties in well with what Gesh Michael was saying about motivation. Right? Mm -hmm. I think also people who work in the nursing home or school teachers, like my mom. Mm -hmm. I remember one day uh, we had she had four boys. She's a single mother. And uh, we have a, a special street behind our house. It's called the alley. Mm -hmm. Tr the garbage truck will come there. Just, it's just for the garbage truck. And the, I remember one day the garbage truck came and we, are, we can hear the noise of the cans and everything. And my mom said, do you boys realize that I make less money than the garbage men out there? I'm a school teacher. And I make less money than in this city than in the, the garbage man outside, you know. So I think there's a tendency to think that your salary uh, decides uh, whether you are important person, mm -hmm. you know, or whether you are making a big contribu contribution to the world. And I think you have to be very careful. I think uh, in America, working in a nursing home right now, uh, 
Veronica's mom is in a nursing home. We cannot see her for three weeks already. We cannot go inside the nursing home and she cannot come out of her own room uh, inside the nursing home. And those uh, people taking care of her, we feel they are so courageous and they are so brave and they are working crazy hours. Uh, one lady was working 48 hours without a break. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think uh, it's important to, to do self coffee meditation if you're one of these people and you to me you are more important than those guys uh in america who are in charge of the government that haven't helped any of us so far <laughs> <laughs> i think it's uh difficult if your salary is not high you think you're you, you don't have so much coffee meditation to do but i think you have more than than those big politicians have for in, in america for example you know, I, I was thinking what, while you were talking about this also of another DCI, uh, DCI principle that we say that money doesn't come from working. So actually here, we, I think another way of seeing this question is you're, she's already planting great seeds. I'm assuming because she says that she enjoys doing that, but at the same time, she's thinking that this, this work is the cause for her having money, which we, in, in our system, we say that no, it, it comes from being gen generous. To help other people make money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't know, that, that could be another, like we're talking about two different seats. So mm -hmm. the cool um, thing would be can you have both? What do you think? Yes, I think uh, if we can see, uh, this is the two, I see this working in the nursing home like two things. It's um, a mix of day, uh, four steps plan for having a partner and to enjoy the job you are doing. And she, Yasmin, I tell you, you are so lucky to have two of these things happening at the same time. So uh, I see it like this. Uh, you are having ongoing four steps plan to plan uh, connection because actually that's what she wants, connection, because she is taking care of all people. And at the same time, you are enjoying your work, which will make even the salary increase or will make you plan best job, better job in the future. So let's stay on the seed of connection. I think, as Gesha, as Gesha Michael said, the intention of helping uh, lonely people, especially in these days, we are really isolated. Everyone in this plant is isolated in this world. Working there and going there, bringing them some connection, some human touch, is a great seed for this time to uh, plant connection. With extra coffee meditation, you make it bigger. So I think just enjoy your work. You are so... Um, have to say, lucky to have this job? Good. <laughs> yeah. A lot of times people ask me, uh, you know, my seeds aren't coming very fast. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't get the result I wanted fast enough. And then I, I feel like a doctor mm -hmm. and I feel like I should prescribe some more kinds of medicine. Mm -hmm. And then I think, I tell them, I think the medicine is correct. You know, this coffee meditation before you sleep is correct. Mm -hmm. But I think now you should double the dosage. Yeah. And uh, you should be doing it also at breakfast. So my suggestion yeah. is everybody watching Peachtree Cafe show breakfast. Uh, maybe it's cool during, maybe just after the show is finished. Mm -hmm. Do a little three minute coffee meditation. About yeah. Your own life. And uh, that will be double dosage. And, and we need the double dosage in this difficult days, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm thinking like that. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I love the idea. I love the idea because I believe everyone has plenty of good seeds planted already. We don't do uh, much coffee meditation, that's true. So if we double the doses, we will see results yeah. coming uh, faster and it will give us some safety in this time because this time we need to see some results mm. to, to calm down. So yeah, I commit for this three minutes after morning show. By the way, also, <laughs> you know, I was just remembering um, when I was having this conversation with, with one uh, of the people, you know, one of our DCI events, I was telling them, you know what? And actually you were reminding me of that <laughs> last week. There's no limit to how much coffee meditation you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be doing coffee meditation <laughs> while you're doing the action. So like the more, the more you can do it, the better. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it's, and they, somehow they, they, they were surprised to, mm -hmm. to hear that. And I think mm -hmm. it's because of, of this, I don't know about you guys, but I, I was 
raised in a culture where um, I don't know you you don't tend to like Gesh oh, Michael yeah. was saying you know you tend to feel like you need to be humble and mm-hmm. not be happy about the things that you do but mm-hmm. I think in this case especially when she's already doing this all through the day yeah there's infinite opportunities to mm-hmm. to do coffee and meditation all day yeah so that's right and now it's our time to wrap up like just to give the conclusion for Yasmin uh, what do you guys think what we can give her very specific uh, practical uh, steps to do or advices so first thing is she she's asking is is getting paid contradicting the seeds that I want to plant so the first thing is to clarify no it's not it's the opposite, right? It, it can, if we have the right motivation, we can enhance it. Mm-hmm. Now, what are some practical day-to-day things? Mm-hmm. To be joyful doing this uh, mm-hmm. job, to think how much connection she is planting and how happy she is making these people uh, she is helping and serving so she can change uh, her way of thinking about it. And I would say, as Geshe said, uh, uh, enhance the a coffee meditation time for example do it in the morning and the evening and uh, after our program to take three minutes uh, after you watch the morning show and just have three minutes of coffee meditation uh, additional to the night one yeah that's a, that's all i have i think uh, you know double dose dosage mm-hmm. of the coffee meditation and i i do think to listen to the morning show while you eat your breakfast Mm-hmm. It's a, a very good habit because you're going to hear uh, great ideas from around the world and, mm-hmm. and yeah. things that will inspire you mm-hmm. all day to be a better person. Yeah, we can make coffee meditation also about these ideas we are hearing, keeping our antennas out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys have a question for uh, Nick and yes. Aaron for tomorrow? Yes, it's from Joe from Hong Kong. Could you please help me play sure. it? Oh. So the next question is, is for April 6th, <laughs> and you would be uh, with Aaron and Nate. Okay. And here is the question. Hi, this is Joy from Hong Kong, now in New Zealand. I have a strong commitment to make a difference in the world. Recently having problem completing projects, always squeezed with time or not being able to get it finished. I want to know how to plant the seed for clear vision for my project, to have the energy to get it off the ground and to sustain with focus and concentration, and more importantly, to complete with success. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joy. That's a very interesting question. I would like to know the answer as well. <laughs> and you know, I think the people coming, Nick and Aaron, are, are perfect to give yes. you this advice because they're they're embarking on so many projects at the moment. Mm-hmm. They have their kid, their new business, they buy a house, they got a dog. So if there's someone who can help them with they that. They have a mixed, and, they, and he's running the mixed nuts also. Okay, yeah. uh-huh. He was already a very busy guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I hope have... they can give us a good answer tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> so we are so excited to have them tomorrow. And you guys, if you are watching us and you want to send your questions, please send them to seedquestion at thisdiamondpatterinstitute.com. We would love to see your questions and we are very happy to answer them. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Gesha Michael. Thank you, Seiji. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Seiji. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching today's Peachtree Morning Show. See you next time.